Hi boys and girls, this is your language arts e-learning lesson for Wednesday, May 6th. We're going to start by taking a look at grammar. Today we're on page 220 using I and me. So it says you have learned to use the subject pronoun I as a subject or after forms of the linking verb be. You have also learned to use the object pronoun me after action verbs or words such as to, for, with, in, or at. You may have trouble, however, deciding whether to use I or me when they are joined with nouns or other pronouns. To help you decide, say the sentence with only I or me. So here we have an example with a noun or another pronoun. Diana and I ride the bus. So instead of trying, to, when you're trying to figure out is it I or me, just use the, the pronoun. So instead of saying Diana and I ride the bus, think of it as I ride the bus. Well, it obviously becomes clear to you that the pronoun to use is I and not me. So if you weren't sure, maybe you thought, well, Diana and me ride the bus. Well, then if you take out the Diana and you just say me ride the bus, you know immediately that that's incorrect. So it's Diana and I ride the bus. I ride the bus. The winners were Dave and I. The winner was I. And then who chose Carol and me? Who chose me? Is Leo coming with him and me? Is Leo coming with me? So very often it becomes more apparent to you what the correct pronoun is when you try it with just the pronoun by itself and not combined with another, um, with another pronoun or a noun. The second part, when you use I or me with nouns or other pronouns, always name yourself last. I always tell you, we always put other people ahead of ourselves. We always think of others before we think of ourselves. And this is true when we're using the I or me. Scott and I invited Rosa. He and I saw Rosa, so that we're putting others before ourselves. We, we put Scott, we say he, okay? And then Rosa met Scott and me. Rosa waited for him and me. So again, we put Scott and we put him ahead of ourselves. Okay, <clears throat> let's just uh, move to the bottom to try it out. Which words in parentheses correctly complete each of these sentences? So let's take a look. Number one, would we say Lisa and I or me and Lisa? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, you should know immediately that the choice we have to go with is Lisa and I just for the fact that we always put another person ahead of ourselves. So we don't say me and Lisa, we would say Lisa and I. Right? Even if the correct pronoun to use was me, we'd have to use the other person first. Right? Number two, Daria teaches a game to Lisa and me or Lisa and I. Well, now in this case, we see that Lisa is used first in both. Okay, and So now you really need to know. So what would you say here? Daria teaches a game to me, or Daria teaches a game to I. If you just had the two pronouns to choose from, you would hear that me certainly sounds like the correct answer. Daria teaches a game to me. So then we would say Daria teaches a game to Lisa and me. Lisa shows Daria and I or Daria and me, another game. Again, obviously um, they've used the other person first and so we're going to have to decide, is it I or me? In order to do that, just put in the pronoun. Does Lisa shows me another game or Lisa shows I another game? And again, you can hear the correct answer is me. So therefore Lisa shows Daria and me, another game. Number four, Daria and I, I and Daria. Well, here is very clear, it's very obvious. The correct answer is the first 
the first one because it's Daria and I. Again, putting that other person ahead of myself. Daria and I have played it in school. Number five, Lisa and I, Lisa and me love playing games. All right, well, they have put Lisa first both times, so now it's a question of I or me. So you need to try those pronouns without Lisa first and see what is correct. Would you say I love playing games or me love playing games? Obviously, the answer is I, so you're going to say Lisa and I love playing games. And then number six, Daria invites me and Lisa or Lisa and me for lunch. Again, once you remember that the other person always comes ahead of yourself, in this case, it makes it an easy choice. Daria invites Lisa and me for lunch. All right, um, what I want you to work on today is found on page 240. Page 240, again, at the top, you always have your review, your little review. So once again, going over the pronouns I and me. Numbers 1 through 10, you simply need to write the correct answer. The first section, use I or me to complete the second, sec second sentence in each pair. And it says, then write the second sentence. You don't need to do that. Okay, You do need to figure out what the missing uh, pronoun is. Is it I or me? And all you have to write is either I or me. In the second section, write a sentence correctly using I or me. Again, all you need to do is to write the correct pronoun, either I or me. At the bottom, a little bit differently here, though, um, it's a little bit different here, rather. Uh, it says to rewrite each incorrect sentence, and if a sentence contains no mistakes, write correct. And that's what you need to do. Let's look at the example. Me and Larry like to take pictures of animals. Me and Larry is not correct. So therefore, you would need to write it correctly and you would write, Larry and I like to take pictures of animals. So if the sentence is correct the way it's written, then all you have to do is just write the word correct. However, when it is done incorrectly, you must rewrite it so that it will be correct. Okay, so again, one to 10, just simply write the correct pronoun. And then the last section, 11 through 15, if the sentence is correct, write the word correct. If it is not correct, you need to write the sentence correctly. In addition to your grammar, today you have the Worldly Wise test. You know that you need to look on facts for the, the link for uh, Quizlet in order to take your test. I've also sent that link to you in your Gmail so that you can easily access that Wordly Wise test number 14. Also, you have Spelling City. You're working on Speedy Speller today. And for Reading Fever, Chapter 27. And then please don't forget to spend some time reading your AR book. You only have a few more weeks and you need to get your points in. Okay. Any questions, and if I or if I can help you if any, in any way, please make sure that you reach out to me, give me a call, let me help you out. Okay, have a good day.